We are about to find out exactly what happens when you try and get back into running after your very first ultra marathon or endurance event. I have given myself a full two weeks off running, off all forms of exercise, and it was exactly what my body needed. However, I got this really fun little thing called post-race blues or depression, whatever you want to call it. I'll go with blues. And it wasn't fun. For me, this meant super low mood, and I'm not talking just a normal low mood, I'm talking next level low mood. Low motivation for anything, low motivation for going outside, low motivation for exercising, low motivation in my work life. I'm just kind of feeling sad for about a week or so. But we do need to look at the positives. I didn't get an injury, so... But I've dusted myself off. I'm feeling so much better this week. Obviously, we all know how hard it is to get back into a routine once you've been out of it for two weeks, but we're gonna go easy on ourselves and just remember why we love running. Flying. I took off way too fast. Don't ask me why I'm doing intervals as my first run back. Feels good though, kind of. I'm 5k in, and I'm happy with the progress. <laughs> I could stop right here, but I actually want to go to the supermarket, which is a bit of a walk from here, so I might as well just run as far as my legs will carry me, and then, and then that'll be it. I'm back, baby. I'm back. You're my baby. doing an easy six it's supposed to be seven I'll be happy with five or six K. I think I've just gotta be patient getting back into running. We all know how hard it is don't we I mentioned this before on Instagram but not on YouTube I don't think. I don't like going for walks, okay? <laughs> I'm just not the kind of person that wakes up in the morning and is like, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to go on a walk. Especially in my area. If I'm on holiday or in the countryside, then yeah, love it. But doing the same walks over and over again just do not bring me joy. Well, I thought they didn't bring me joy. Then I actually go out and I feel so much better. Like this was very much supposed to be a run. And it was for the first three came and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just tired. <laughs> I just want to chill. And I've loved it. Yeah, sometimes running is the only time I actually get outside because I don't just come for walks, which I know I need to change um, just because getting out for a walk is really good for mental health and all that bull crap that we all know. But just a reminder, I guess, if you don't love going on walks like me, just try it. <laughs> this kind of fits in with like my overall goal for training going forward. And it's not necessarily training per se, but it's just the idea of getting out of the house more often, especially being out outdoors when it's so nice like this. Like it's a little bit crisp. It's not raining. It's been sunny. I just think my body will love it because I'm getting the extra movement that's not necessarily like strenuous. And also my mind does like it. I'm not gonna lie. Who knew? Just as I was about to start thinking about getting ready, I remember that I have something to talk to you about, which is this little thing right here. She's cute, right? It has my name on it. I have partnered with Wild, and if you haven't heard of Wild, I'm gonna quickly tell you about them. So basically, Wild are a personal care brand. So they have deodorants, body wash, lip balm, a whole host of different products, and they are made from natural ingredients. They're all vegan and cruelty-free, which as you know, is super, super important to me, leading like a predominantly plant-based lifestyle. And one of the best things about them is that all of their products are refillable. I think that if you are looking to kind of reduce your plastic consumption, by the way, all their products are plastic-free, this is a great 
great way to start because these are products that we're using every day and it's a small change that can actually make in my opinion quite a big difference and that is why i made the switch to wild i'm using um their autumn leaf scent and i honestly need somebody else to smell this because it is like it's almost like a perfume like it smells that good also it has this really nice like aluminium case and also as well it's all done on a subscription so as soon as you run out there'll already be a new refill at your door ready for you to replace the old one which i just think is a really great way of not having to think about those little everyday things <laughs> if you do want to try any wild products i'm gonna put my code on the screen and there's also a qr code so if you're watching on a tablet or if you're watching on your tv which i love that i'm potentially on someone's tv in the living room hello then you can just scan the qr code but if you use the code runs with emily 20 it will give you 20 percent off the entire wild range so have a little look around and if you get the deodorant please 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 get the autumn leaves scent and let me know what you think because i am obsessed i need it as a fragrance so wild if you're watching this, I need that as a perfume so I can kind of spray all over my body. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get 20% off everything on the Wild website. And thank you, Wild, for partnering with me on this part of the video. Okay, I am doing something kind of scary. And I want to tell you first. So I am about to pay for my first... Well, it's not probably not going to be my first race in 2025. But the first one that I'm booking for 2025. It's... I don't want to say what it is yet. But okay, so I'm doing a half marathon on a remote island. It's in Europe. It's in June of 2025. And it's somewhere that I have wanted to go for quite a long time. I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to give it away yet. But if you have any guesses, let me know in the comments. I'm probably not going to tell you just yet if you're right. Um, but I am about to book it. I just feel like, okay, when I found out that this place did races, like I just didn't expect it because it's such a small kind of island in the middle of nowhere. I was like, straight away, I need to, I have to, I have to do it. So they do a 10K, a half and a full marathon. Don't fancy the full marathon, to be honest. So I'm going to go for the half. I just think it's pretty mad, like where where i'm going to be running this half marathon i wish i could tell you i mean i could tell you but i'm not going to just yet i've paid i've got my spot this is madness i can't believe that i might be doing this give me your guesses below this is so exciting and that marks the end of my first week getting back into running after a major endurance event i have to say the post-race blues that i mentioned at the start of the video have well and truly gone now. I feel like I'm almost at 100% again. I feel a lot more motivated to leave the flat, which is a good start. But then also in fitness, I feel more motivated. I know what my next goal is, which I'll share in the next video. I also feel more motivated and more productive in my work life as well, which is a very nice feeling and is a relief because at one point I was starting to think that that was gonna last forever. But it didn't, thank God. I always like to take this time after my races, first of all, to rest, but also just to remind myself why I love running, why I started running again and take any goals or expectation out of it. I think that is really important because if I don't always want to be kind of goal driven. There are times when I want to have no goal and I just want to go out and enjoy it. And I think for most people, that's probably the case as well. I always think as well that it's hard to remind yourself that you don't always need to be striving to do the next thing because I always feel like as a, I guess, like a fitness content creator, whatever you want to call it, I am so aware of what everybody, all the other fitness people are posting and so many of them, and this isn't a negative to them, this is kind of like incredible that they're able to do this because I could never, but they are jumping from one goal to the next goal to the next goal. I think for the majority of people, myself included, this just like is not sustainable. At the current fitness levels that I am at the minute, my body would just be battered if that is something that I did. And I think I'd also fall out in love with it as well because I'm not gonna lie, I am quite lazy at heart. So I do like to have downtime where I'm literally not doing anything. I'm not focusing on goals. I'm not focusing on anything. So 
just a reminder that you don't need to be thinking about your next goal if you don't want to. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it so that other people like us can find this video and find this amazing community that we have growing here on YouTube. And make sure that you subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. You can tell it's getting dark in the UK in the afternoons now because I have to use this light. Anyway, bye.